Okay, Aquarius, this is going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I'm going to start off here with the Chinese fortune cookie oracle. And then I'll do tarot and then one romance oracle after. Alright, reflection. Friendship in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Okay, and I am using this deck this week. All right, for Aquarius for this upcoming week. And uh, these are the weekly tarot readings I do. I'm not sure how much longer I'll do them. Um, I don't know if I'll just do monthlies and some of those uh, other in-between ones with all the, the all the signs, you know, all signs ones. Because this is a lot of time and work that I enjoy to doing, but it's a lot of time for not getting paid, you know. You need a thousand subscribers in order to even get paid. But, uh, and I don't know if you guys even like this stuff or not. I don't, no one really likes or comments, so I don't know if I'll continue doing these ones or not. If you guys want to like videos and subscribe and all that, then yeah, but... I don't know. Okay, I'm just throwing cards around now. So cards want to, either messages really want to come out or I'm just being that sloppy today. I don't know which one is which. It actually hasn't happened on the other ones like that. I think it's you guys or messages want to come out. And uh, each sign has a power color and uh, yours is blue. And I'd like to know if you guys like this spread. It's my own spread that I've uh, always been using, but I ask questions, but nobody really comments anything. So I don't know if you guys like it or not. Okay. So there are fire signs here, earth, water. Let's see the signs that stand out. Aries stands out. Aries stands out twice, actually three times. Aries stands out here. Wow, you guys got Aries all over this. Three times. There's three cards here that can represent Aries. Capricorn is also here. You have a lot of major arcanas here. There's two cards that could represent Capricorn. So Capricorn and Aries are here strongly. Aries is the strongest here. But it, let's see. With the these major arcanas that you have, it could be some changes taking place, going to be taking place. Let me just look at the cards here for a minute here. Well, you have almost all major arcanas here, so... A lot of, it could be a lot of changes. All right, so let's start off here with the King of Wands. So this shows you inspiring or it's motivational. Some of you might be an entrepreneur and a preneur. <laughs> Looks like you're full of creative ideas. Some of you might be in a leadership role or maybe you're just a leader. Also shows you might be a little controlling at times, a little rash and impulsive sometimes.
Okay, so next you have the world. So with the world, this card usually is about like accomplishments and meeting your goals and establishing structure in life. And in the position that it is in, it's kind of, I don't know if this is on your mind or you're wondering about it or if it's kind of like an issue for you. Something does not look straight here. But, um, yeah, it's a card like it's fulfillment also, but being, like I said, in, it's kind of, okay, just looking at these cards, it's like I'm, get different feelings. Let me go on here to the fool. So this is uh, saying to trust yourself and uh, take a leap of faith. And for some of you, this might be a new start or a new journey. Um, it might be a new job. It might be a new relationship. Uh, for some of you, it may represent a vacation. But uh, it does say to stay true to yourself. Next up, you have the tower. So with this, for some of you, this could be sudden changes. Uh, it can be a major life event or it can be just something small. It could be, you know, something smar smaller, such as an argument, but it it's usually transformation. It's some type of chaos that leads to transformation and it's like turbulence that leads to a beneficial outcome. So it's kind of like the universe is, is a course correcting you. So either something happened, you know, that made you, I don't want to say question things, but something happened that maybe For some of you, something happened that made you, I think, question things. And then others of you, it can be, you know, a sub type of, like I said, with the universe correcting you and basically not something happening so that you do take that leap of faith, but sometimes something happening can lead to other things. Like I said, uh, turbulence that leads to beneficial outcomes. But anyways, next up here is a three of pentacles. And uh, that is recogni recognition for your talent or your work. And it uh, looks like you'd be paid well for your, what you do. And uh, looks like you guys have a really good reputation, or you will. It can also mean collaborations. And shows that you have confidence in your work. Next up here is the Emperor. So with this, this, again, it's kind of like about power and leadership. And like I said, Aries is very strong here. And that's, a, you know, like the first sign of the Zodiac and their leaders known as leaders and it's coming up here for your reading for you and it's also saying uh, maybe it's time to step up and take charge on something or with something I don't know if it's with a person or with a job or what but it's telling you to step up and take charge and uh, don't doubt yourself you know the emperor doesn't he doesn't doubt himself he doesn't doubt how he does things and this card is also saying that energies are favorable for a stable path. Next up you have death here. And with this, this is endings that lead to new beginnings. So it's renewal, change, transformation. As I've mentioned with the tower, transformation. Uh, so something happened or can happen here. I don't know if something's going to happen, but some an ending looks like takes place. But it's kind of like, you're, or it could be clearing out something like clearing out letting go of what no longer serves you it's also you know can represent uh trying to make a decision like whether to stay or leave a relationship so maybe something happened and you're trying to figure out what to do
and for a lot of you, like I said, something happened with an Aries. Next up here, you have the Ten of Cups. And with the Ten of Cups, so this is shows stability, security, love and relationships. It shows happily ever after. It's like living the dream. And uh, next to it, you have the Judgment card. And they kind of, the Judgment card is like, kind of like re re reaping rewards of past efforts and making wise changes. Uh, it can also be like a wake up call. So, and so can this, you know, it could be like something happens and it's a wake up call. But I do see the 10 of cups here. And to me, this is like the best card. This is living the dream happily ever after right here. So it could be if some of you are deciding what to do, whatever choice you make, looks like that choice is going to lead to happily ever after. This can also be about uh, saying like you can make a clean break from past grudges. And it's also about reunited. Be, some of you might be uh, reunited with the loved one. Okay, I'm going to pull a uh, romance or card for those that are interested in it okay okay and it is forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments okay all right you guys if you like this at all if you know if you want to subscribe I'd appreciate it um, and another video should be popping up. You guys might want to check that one out. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot for watching.